Investigative reporter Madaris Babb joins us live in studio and Madaris tenants are taxing resources by calling fire and police departments. That's right, Catherine. And yesterday, our CBS 47 investigation revealed at least 70 incidents reported to the fire department in the past two years. Last night in part one, we took you inside of the park to hear from the mobile home park tenants. Tonight, we take you inside of the unhoused community to get a look at how the situation got to this boiling point. Los Banos, a town of less than 50,000 people, but just a block from the main street through town, tents line the city's largest encampment of people who are unhoused. Trying to make some boxing thing. A tattered American flag flies over Los Banos native Robert Soros' spot, a spot he built himself out of plywood. A speed bag and a heavyweight bag, a reminder of his dream to start a boxing gym. He says he ended up on the streets after being released from prison. But my wife said that, uh, I'd rather be in prison than homeless. I said, excuse me, and that's mostly why I came homeless, to show her that I'd rather be free than prison. Over the years, the housing crisis across California worsening. According to a Stanford study, between the years of 2014 and 2020, the number of people who are unhoused rose more than 40% with over 160,000 people on the streets any given night. These are all someone's daughter, son. Los Banos Police Commander Ray Reyna says the city does not have a homeless task force and because of the lack of resources, the city encouraged the unhoused to live on this vacant property. That way, the unhoused were all in one spot instead of spread out, making it easier to connect people to housing. So it's important for us to be out here every day uh, not only to offer those resources, but to see what's going on out here. The city put up this fence, brought in barbecues, a porta potty, and each day staff come out to offer temporary rooms at motels less than a quarter mile down the street. But some of the people say they feel like trapped animals. We're homeless, but we're humans. They want to keep us in a little cage up area for what? At its peak, Raina says the camp had about 80 people living in there, but now it's down to a couple dozen. For us, it's, it's a big win. While some unhoused individuals accept city resources, others refuse the services. And just over the fence, the Rancho's mobile home park tenants feel like they are paying the price. I know everybody needs to live, but w at what expense? I know that they have needs, but at whose expense? Is it at my expense? And, and, and this is how most of us feel. You are letting them uh, live here at our expense. Almost every night, tenants say they see fires burning inside of the encampment. Tenants say they call 911 fearing an ember could send their own home up in flames. But they say nothing is done and the problems continue. The tenants are scared. Uh, my neighbors are my, my neighbors and my friends are scared. Reina understands the frustration, but says the city's hands are tied because of the Supreme Court decision in Martin versus Boise, which doesn't allow the city to kick the unhoused off public property unless there are enough shelter beds for all of the unhoused in the city. Los Banos does not have a homeless shelter. Without the beds, people who make their home on the city lot are allowed to stay. If homeless are on public property, unless we can house them, unless we can provide an actual bed for them, we can't move them. Scared, frustrated, and running out of hope, the mobile home tenants at their wits end, but not ready to give up just yet. I know I have a big mouth, but this big mouth is going to defend people that are afraid to talk. I said, I'm not gonna shut up. I'm gonna keep complaining until you guys do something about this mess. Coming up tomorrow in part three of this series, I explore what the city can and cannot do because of that Supreme Court case. That will be tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. only here on Eyewitness News. Reporting live in the studio, Madera's Bab, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.